Right. Hello. Uh, hey. My name is Jimmy Angelakos, and I'm with Boris Mejias. And Boris, why are we here? We are here because not only because we are friends and good uh, co-workers from the community of PostgreSQL, but we want to talk about the PostgreSQL 16 administration cookbook. That's right. We have a book out. Yes. Here it is. Yes, we can see our pictures there with our other co-authors, Gianni Choli, Vivor Kumar, and Simon Riggs. Great. And why is this book special? Why should anyone care? Well, first of all, it's Postgres. This is the main thing. <laughs> but the format is very interesting. The fact that it's called a cookbook is not just to have a fancy name, but it works with the format of a recipe. So if you think about, for instance, uh, normal cookbooks, um, they will start with a recipe, whereas a normal documentation will start with ingredients. Like if, if you have like a documentation of Postgres, you will look at, it will explain you what a tomato is and what you can do with the tomato. Like if it is raw, you can put it in a salad or a hamburger, but if you cook it, you can make a, a sauce with it. Whereas a recipe will start with the goal, what you want to have, the lasagna. So you want to have a lasagna and then you will know what are the ingredients that you need? What are the process that you need to follow? how it works and how you make a lasagna. So this is exactly the same thing, but with recipes about databases. Right. And specifically, since you mentioned Postgres, right? Uh, we know that it is on the rise. We know that its popularity is expanding rapidly. Uh, lots of users are turning to Postgres and they have lots of questions, right? So which class of users is this for? I mean, it's in the title. It says administration cookbook, yep. right? So it's mostly database administrators that the book is for. But are other, are there any other types of users that the book will be useful for? Yeah, our belief after all the experience that we have with customers and working with different open source projects is that when application developers they know better how the database work, how table partitioning, for instance, work, how the specific data types like JSON uh, work, they kind of get much better performance for the application. They scale much better and they have much better use of uh, the database for whatever the use case is. So. The book tries to get the administrator also to understand things that are needed by the application developers and the application developers can understand a lot more about how the book works, uh, right. the database works, sorry. <laughs> yeah, understanding, uh, speaking of understanding how the book works, right? You mentioned recipes. So um, what is a database recipe, right? What is the format of the book? And that's really important to uh, get out there is that We've got some concepts and sections within each recipe that are getting ready, which is like gathering all the ingredients. What do you need to start working on this recipe? Yep. And the database recipe is, I want to achieve this specific thing with the database, right? As you mentioned with real recipes, I want to cook this. And basically getting ready is preparing uh installing all the things that you need configuring all the things that you need to start working on the recipe and then comes how to do it in every recipe we have a how to do it section after getting ready which is basically describes any commands you need to run any tools you need to uh open and uh, how to use them in order to achieve what you want and then the next section that we have is how it works. And I think that is what makes this book really different. Um, because we, instead of telling you what to do, right, click on this and you'll have a backup. Uh, we explain how the backup is taken, how it works, right? We explain in the section how it works, what Postgres is actually doing underneath so that we can help you understand why uh, the procedure goes like this. Yeah. Um, and finally, we have um, an optional section at the end of the recipe. In case you're interested in learning more about the topic, there's a section that's called There's More. And There's More usually gives you deeper technical detail, like a deep dive into what we just did. Or at least it gives you links to the Postgres documentation or other websites where you can find information on yep. um, additional topics that are related to what we just did. 
Yeah, exactly. Like uh, some real cookbooks uh, for food, they tell you about like a lasagna, and then at the end it's a like, game. Okay, you'll just uh-huh. learn how it works with a lasagna bolognese. But if you want to, there's more options for doing this, like with different type of uh, pasta or uh, different ingredients, like a uh, zalm lasagna and those kind of stuff, which follow the same principle actually. Right. So, um, do you want to talk about the contents of the book a little bit, like what 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 sections we have, what chapters we have uh, in the book? Yeah. So the idea is that we try to build up something that it goes really from the beginning, from the core, like how we install Postgres, where to get the packages and everything, up to things like uh, building clusters with multiple nodes. Cool. So we talked about what's in the book and how it's written. Now let's talk about how you use a book like this in the real world, right? Yeah. And this is not the first uh, Postgres administration cookbook. There have been other cookbooks in the past for previous versions, but this is ours. So we, <laughs> we can discuss at length uh, yeah, how we <laughs> used the previous ones exactly. and how you, the viewer, can use this one. Yeah, uh, I remember when I was uh, working in Brussels, uh, I think it was around version 9.3 and 9.5, we were migrating between these two together with the other uh, database administrators uh, from Oracle and Postgres, uh, sometimes we will kind of get a task. It's like we, the application developers will say, like, you need to rebuild these indexes because they are not performing well. And say, so, okay, well, how, you, how do we do that? And then we will pick up the book and then we will look at the recipe rebuilding indexes and then it will be everything explained. And then we will kind of ceremonially at the end, we will say like, quit, quit, Latin, edictum, sit, altum, sonato. We will close the book and then we will put it back on the rack. So. You don't need to read the book from top, uh, from cover to cover. There are recipes, and then you search for the recipe that you need at that time. In the same way that you're not going to read a, a food cookbook, <laughs> all the recipes. You just go say, "Today I want to cook this. Today I need to perform this task." And then you go to that recipe, and it is a self-contained recipe. So you, everything for that recipe is there. That's also an important part of the format of the book. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's a reference book. Uh, you have it on your, you behind you on your bookshelf, and you think, okay, I need to figure out how row level security works, right? Yeah. You pull out the book, you find it in the index or the contents, and you just uh, have the recipe ready there. Yeah. Cool. So how to get this book, right? So you can click uh, in the description below. You'll find links. Um, on how to get it from PACT and other sources. And I think it's simple enough. Um, these days, you don't even have to walk to a bookstore <laughs> to buy a computer book, right? You just uh, click and get it in physical format or a PDF download, uh, whatever is more convenient for you. Cool. Yep. So at this point, uh, any last words? Thank you very much, Boris, for joining us uh, in this description of the book. Yeah, I mean, I, I enjoy writing the book together with you and the other co-authors. So talking about the book is also very enjoyable. So thanks for the invitation. Sure. Um, it is um, a really diverse group of um, Postgres professionals that wrote this book, starting from uh, Simon, who was the author of uh, previous cookbooks. And uh, every one of us has worked uh, quite a few years on Postgres administration. And I think um, the experience that we've gained from uh, working uh, around and with Postgres for so many years, I think it shows in the book. And uh, it will make for an enjoyable uh, read and hopefully it will be useful. Yep, exactly. Cool. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks. Cheers.